the weather's supposed to be good. I've got no one to come with me, so we're doing a solo trip. i got no idea what I'm going for, where I'm going, what I'm doing, the boat's a mess. So, we're out here, just had an absolutely mint cruise out, just sitting on 32 knots, just punching it, not giving a shit, and pulled up to this first set of gutters, slightly back her off, get her in a neutral, and gone, motor's out. And apparently, she's proper out. So, uh, we are officially stranded at sea. About 22 miles from land. So far, this whole solo mission is going spectacular. Righto, we'll see what we find. Well, while I think about it, I'm gonna have a drop. Because, why not? I'm gonna be stranded at sea, I should probably try and catch some food, eh? <laughs> yeah. Good times. Good times. You're joking. Well. Holy shit, that's actually a good shell fish there. <laughs> Turn that bastard down live. Oh, I shouldn't. I should probably actually focus on getting the fuck out of here. I found the culprit. It's not. Holy shit. What is that? Big school of something coming straight for us. Anyway, it is not that little line. It's this big one. So you got a huge asshole through it. And, to be perfectly honest, I don't know if I've got anything that I can fix it with. Um, this big school or something getting smashed over there. But anyway, besides the point, the point is, we're screwed. Um, yeah. Um, I'll see what I can come up with, and I'll be back. Right, I here's what I'm thinking. Cut a chunk of this off, wrap it round, zip tie, hopefully get a seal, and then just, I hope it works. That's what we're running with, that's all we got. I can't believe I've, I must have taken out all my electrical tape and everything like that out. So what's happened is that's obviously sitting up there against me pulley here and she's just rubbed through. Which is rather a um, annoying thing to happen if I'm speaking honestly. I'll be honest, I don't have much faith in this working, but we'll see. Don't know what else I can do. I literally have nothing. Right, that didn't work. 
Gonna draw up on that rag around it. I've only got that many zip ties and then I'm out of zip ties too, so. Oh, hang on. I got fuel on there. Oh, hold the phone here, boy. We might be on here. I didn't even think of that. Surely that'd be the same size of what? You'd reckon, eh? Have to be. Have to be the same size. Righto, no plan. Righto, update. Got this hose off. That's a dead hose from there. Um, I've cut a piece of me fuel on through here, but then it was too short to stay there, so I've had to open it up here, pull it all the way back through, run it through there like that. That should be good. I've got my new piece of line to go on there. The sun is down. Oh, there's a little bit of lump. Actually, that's not a bad lump of fish there. One should mark that. Um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we'll chuck this on there and we'll see if it holds. That's a good little hollow there with a few bit of, bit of stuff on it. Yeah, no, yeah. All right. Um, I'll stay focused, though. We'll stay focused. We'll, um, yeah, sun's down. Got me piece to replace that. Chuck him on. Start it up. Happy days. We'll go kill some fish. That's the plan. We'll stick to it. I did have a hose clamp that I've now. There. Right. Righto. Let's do this. And would you look at this? It's even the right size. Like. You couldn't plan it any better. Like, if you're gonna plan a fishing trip, this is exactly how I'd imagine it happening. Like, honestly. Don't worry about running without dramas. This is, this is BCF and fun. This is 100%. Right, eh? Let's see. Let's see how we go. Oh, I didn't even mark that anyway. All right. Let's, let's give it a crack. With any luck, fingers crossed. Legs crossed, balls crossed. We're on here, boys. We're on here. Just got to let that fuel bleed through. But... <laughs> We're on here, boys. We're on here. Let's go find some fish. Yeah, so... No good. There's a reason that's braided fuel on, and that's because it's under pressure. And that little pussy shit from my intake can't handle the pressure. I've just blown it twice, and I've traveled maybe 30 meters in the space that I've just blown it twice. So, yeah, I'll try again and see if I can just hold it at an idle and whether it won't build up so much pressure on the idle. But yeah, we'll, um, we'll see. At the moment, I'm sorted up Shits Creek without a fuel line or a paddle. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. So we're going, I don't want to stop because we're going and I've literally taken the old braided fuel line and I've literally just put like five zip ties along where it's split, wrapped a rag around it, then zip tied the rag to it and um, we're going, we're going six knots and at this rate we're gonna be back around the around the leads at 11 o'clock tonight. I don't even know what the time is now. I don't even know where I put my phone. Oh, my phone's here. My phone's waiting to go on the drink. So it's six o'clock. So at this rate, it's gonna be a five hour crawl back to the leads. That's if this holds and I don't have to stop for more dodgy ups but yeah like how good at least
least we're going. But yeah, zip ties. Zip ties are the go. Pop, she gone. Got to make it like point one of a mile, and she's popped again. <sighs> I'm hoping it's just like, I've just got a zip tie on one and a hose clamp on the other. I'm hoping she's just sort of popped the zip tie off, which means it'll be holding pressure there. Which means my bodge job is good. Which means that I can just take that zip tie off and I can just put a hose clamp there and it'll be right. But we'll go have a look and see if that's what's actually happened or if the hose has just blown somewhere else or something stupid like that and we'll have a look. I'll let you know. Righto, so that's what it was. The zip tied failed and she popped off. So I've chucked a hose clamp on it now. So the only thing I hope is that now I've got the hose clamp on there, the next week at the weakest point is going to be that dodgy ass patch I put up. But for it to blow the hose off before it blew the zip tie around the patch job it must be fairly good so i'll start laughing we'll see if she's gonna go again and how far she's gonna go again hang on what's going on here now now yeah, she won't turn over you ripper Righto, stay tuned. I'll get it going again. Never mind. I still had it in gear. We'll try again. Better. Better. Yeah. The worst thing about this is I'm just drifting over heaps of good shows on the sounder. And I just can't do anything about it. Because I've got to get home. Because the missus needs his car for school run and everything in the morning. So... We gotta get there before the, that bell rings. It's gotta happen. We'll get there tonight. It's happening. Look at this side. Like, look. Look at these good little. This, yeah, there's fish there. But you know, you just can't, can't do it. Can't do it. <laughs>